Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. The videos and animations you see here have all been produced using the artificial intelligence Leonardo. This visual showcase demonstrates Leonardo's amazing ability to convert images into video. Leonardo AI is a text-to-image, an image-to-image AI art generator that allows you to create amazing visuals with just a few words or an existing image. It's known as a powerful alternative to mid-journey AI. With Leonardo AI, you can create images in a wide variety of styles, including realistic, anime, 3D, 2D, and more. You can also use it to bring your creative ideas to life by generating text-based images and then animating them into professional-looking 3D videos without any 3D software knowledge like Maya, 3DS Max or Cinema 4D, and without needing expensive hardware. Using AI technologies like text-to-image and image-to-video conversion, Leonardo gives you the power of a Hollywood film studio right at your fingertips. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create stunning videos with Leonardo AI. So stay tuned until the end of this tutorial. Iman Global YouTube Channel We visit Leonardo's website. This website is Leonardo's artificial intelligence platform. Scrolling down a little bit shows the features and capabilities of Leonardo. The design and layout of elements on the Leonardo website are very beautiful. For example, here is a list of models that images are generated by. Or a little lower down, you can see some of the images created by this platform. A little further down there is information about Leonardo's community of 4 million people. To use the artificial intelligence capabilities of Leonardo, we need to create a user account. To do this, click on the create an account button. Account creation is complete completely free and does not require a credit card. After creating the account, we can log into the Leonardo website with the launch app button. After logging into Leonardo, we see this page. By creating a regular user account, 150 tokens are credited to us for free. We can use these tokens to create images and videos. Once this credit is used up, it will automatically recharge every 9 hours. If this number of tokens is not enough for you, you can upgrade and receive plans with more credit and tokens by paying a fee. At the top of the site under the Get Started Here title, Leonardo's features are arranged in several thumbnails. Using image generation we can turn our ideas into images using descriptive text prompts. Using real-time canvas, all our sketches are transformed into art in real-time. The canvas editor allows us to edit, refine, add details, remove unwanted elements, and modify styles of images. With motion we can animate images and turn them into videos. Real-time generation allows us to create new images in real-time based on type. Scrolling down a bit takes us to the recent creation section. Here the art gallery of Leonardo's platform users is showcased. Clicking on any image provides useful information about creating that image. For example, the full prompt text and details used to create this image are here. Below the image is the download button. Next to it are details about the dimensions, resolution, print type and model used to generate the image. You can use the image to motion button to animate this image. Using the image to image button, you can use this image as input to create new images based on it. The remix button puts all the information of this image, including prompt, negative prompt, and all size and model settings used in the image generation section to create new images using these same settings. Below the recent creations title are several tabs that are used to sort the art gallery by topic. The images cover diverse topics such as anime, animals, architecture, and more. But for example, clicking on photography will only sort images related to that topic and clicking on motion will only show video artworks. Let's take a look at some of the videos in the motion section. These videos, created by Leonardo AI, are incredibly inspiring. The videos are in a variety of genres, including realistic, 2D cartoon, 3D animation, and more. New videos are added to this archive every day, leaving you amazed. Leonardo AI is still in its early stages but it is getting stronger every day with new updates and features. Leonardo AI allows everyone to be a director and tell their own story, and to share it with the world in video format. Even on the free account, Leonardo AI gives you a significant amount of free tokens that are refreshed daily, so you can start using this amazing tool. 
From the left side menu in the user tools section, we can access Leonardo's main features through the links in this section. An important point is that in the personal feed link, the works generated by ourselves are archived, and through this link we can access all our own works. As you can see, these are the works I have generated so far. Initially I want to create an image using a text prompt, and then convert the image to video. I go to the image generation section to create the image. In this section, Previously generated images are also visible. By clicking on the images, we can view and review them in large size. By clicking on the three-dot icon more options next to the images on the right side, we have a drop-down list of commands. We use the generate again command to repeat and rerun the prompt. With the delete all command, images generated from the prompt are deleted. Above each image, there is an icon called copy prompt for copying the text and descriptions of this prompt. There is also an icon called reuse prompts for reusing the same prompt. In the upper section, there is a large text box for inserting ideas and descriptions of the prompt. Below the prompt box, there is a drop-down list called fine-tuned model, which contains various models that the artificial intelligence Leonardo uses to generate images. And we can choose any of them as desired. In the number of images section, we can determine the number of images generated at each stage. Slightly below in the image dimensions section, we can use the default dimensions for generating images. Further down in the advanced controls section, we can use the drop-down list of aspect ratio to use the required ratio for generating images, such as 16 to 9 or 3 to 4, to create vertical, horizontal, and square modes. A little further down, completely manually, using sliders and even entering numbers next to the sliders on the right side, we can set the dimensions required for generating images. In the first step, we want to convert our idea into text. Write your idea fully and comprehensively in the text box. This text is called a prompt. I have a prompt. I paste it into the text box. In the drop-down list, I select the fine-tuned model option, Leonardo Diffusion XL. I set the number of images to 4. The prompt magic option is also active. Now, I click on the generate button. With these settings, 21 tokens are deducted from my initial free credit of 150. After a short while, new images are generated. I click on one of the images to review them. The download button is seen at the bottom of each image. I delete the previous prompt and paste the new prompt into the text box. Now, I click on the generate button again. After a short while, new images are generated. I click on one of the images to review them. Using this method, you can create diverse images in different styles. The text to image process is complete. And in the next step, we navigate to the personal feed page for the image to video process. In this page, the results of the text-to-image process are visible. We click on one of the images that we want to convert to a video. In the new window containing image details, I click on the Image to Motion button. A new window for Image to Motion opens up. Using the drop-down list select from recent images, we can replace the current image with new ones. A bit further down in the Motion Strength section, we can control the intensity and level of animation. After that, I click on the Generate button. This process deducts 25 tokens from our credits. In this section, we can click on the View Generation option to be redirected to a page displaying the result of the image to video conversion. I click on the Close option to convert the next image to a video. We click on another image that we want to animate and convert to a video. In the new window, I click on the Image to Motion button. In this section, I click on the Generate button. This process deducts 25 tokens from our credits. From the left-hand menu, I click on the Image Generation option to be redirected to a page displaying the result of the image to video conversion. In this page, videos are seen alongside images. When hovering over the videos, icons for downloading the video in MP4 format and a delete button are visible. By clicking on each video, we can review them in a larger size within a video frame. You need to repeat these steps to achieve good results. In this tutorial, I have demonstrated the complete process of text to image and then image to video for you. Keep in mind that Leonardo AI's image to video capabilities are still in their early stages, so the results may not always be perfect. However, as you can see in these sample videos, even at this early stage, Leonardo AI can transform ideas and images into stunning animated videos. Whether you're looking to create explainer videos, product demos, animated short films, 3D animations, or even entertaining and engaging content, Leonardo AI can help you. And remember, Leonardo AI is just a tool. The real magic comes from your creativity 
and imagination. So don't get discouraged. Experiment with different prompts and unleash your creativity with the power of AI. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you learned something new, please like this video, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. To support the channel financially, you can donate using the super thanks button below each video. Many more AI tutorials are coming soon, so subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. See you in the next video.